I remember it like it was yesterday. I was five years old. My daddy had a room behind the house where he stayed. That I had an army backpack full of pennies. One day I found the backpack. Oh, and I'd go in it and grab handfuls of pennies and put it in them in little overalls. And I'd go down to Mr. Evans' little community store. Oh, and then I'd continue to go in daddy's penny bag almost every day. The pennies in the backpack were going down, 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 until finally they were all gone. You see, I was the big penny spender. They had heard in the community that I was setting up all my little friends and uh, <laughs> the word had gotten back to my daddy. So one night as my sister was bathing me in the number 310 tub, and she said to me, Daddy's going to get you. For what? I said, for stealing his pennies. I didn't stole no pennies. Then suddenly I heard Daddy coming for me. He opened the door to the kitchen and yelled, Get back! Let me have it! Oh, I was so scared. Boy, what did you do with my money? What you do with my money? And he hit me two or three times. I said, oh, Dad, I spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it. And then I said, why did you spend it? I said, I was hungry, 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 hungry. Oh, he put a whipping on me that I'll never forget. Some hours later, my daddy sat me down and said, Son, if you wanted something, why didn't you ask me? For it is better to ask than to steal. From that day on, I never stole another penny from my daddy. Wouldn't it be nice if we as parents would teach our children the commandments of God? It might prevent you from having a big penny spender.